Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jim here. Michael Griffin, who is U.S. Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, said China is spending billions to develop a non-nuclear version of the weapons that could render U.S. aircraft carriers vulnerable to attack. In round numbers, China has done 20 times as many hypersonic weapons tests as has the United States over the last decade, Griffin told the annual McAleese Credit Suisse Defense Conference. Now, China in particular, he said, has set itself on a course to become a global power and America's primary adversary. When the Chinese can deploy tactical or regional hypersonic systems, they hold at risk our carrier battle groups. They hold our entire surface fleet at risk. They hold at risk our forward deployed land based forces, Griffin said. Now, without our ability to defend and without at least an equal response capability on the offensive side, then what we've done is we have allowed a situation to exist where our deployed forces are held at risk. We cannot do the same for them, Griffin said, and so our only response is to either let them have their way or to go nuclear. Well, that should be an unacceptable situation for the United States. And yes, folks, it certainly should be an unacceptable situation for the United States. Um, well, China seems to be racing ahead of the U.S. in this particular technology, uh, the U.S. forces are at a serious risk. What can the U.S. do? What will the U.S. do? Uh, just... Uh, allow it to happen and rely on nuclear weapons or come up with something which I'm sure the U.S. Uh, I'm sure the Pentagon does have something in the pipeline absolutely but uh, this is a frightening uh, a frightening thought uh, having uh, the having U.S. aircraft carriers essentially made obsolete because of these Chinese hypersonic weapons folks uh, I'll leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And if you would be so kind, please check out the links below to my fiction books on Amazon.com. They're available in Kindle and paperback. If you're watching world events, you would really like my fiction, folks. There's also a link to a free read of Chapter 1 of my most recent fiction book release. There is a link to some music of mine and also a link to a PayPal page if you wanted to uh, buy me a cup of coffee. Folks, I greatly appreciate you. I want to continue to remind you, don't drink the Deception Berry Kool-Aid. And most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.